I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will shew forth all thy marvelous works. Psalms chapter 9 verse 1. Hey Dandelion and welcome back to your weekly Wednesday wellness check with your bestie Dohi Sama. And before we get started, please take a deep breath with me and count down from 10. You ready? 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right, then the lions. Before we get started, let me just pre warn you there is a dog that is going off loose cannon, but I promise it is not my dog. So we're just gonna give you what the Lord gave me and get you out of here. So, precious dandelion, today let's meditate on consistency. Now, this can be perceived two ways. The definition of consistency is this is this conformity in the application of something typically that which is necessary for the sake of logic accuracy or fairness the second definition is the way in which a substance typically a liquid holds together thickness or viscosity something consistent constant always flowing always streaming do you have something that is consistent in your life? No matter what, you can confidently say you'll wake up to it every day. Something that when you wake up, it is new, fresh, restoring, hopeful every single day. Something that no matter if you take a walk or a bus, it is always there. Do you have it? Some consistency. And how you live your life and how you control yourself. Is your consistence rooted in hurting people? Talking recklessly? Acting carelessly when it comes to someone's heart? Getting over on your brother or sister even if it's just a dollar? Or are you constantly loving people? Consistent with checking in on those struggling? Making sure your own heart and mind is regulated? Can you point a finger on your life and go, aha, this is consistent. This betters me. This helps me along the way. This is my power. This is my source. This is the true living water. If you cannot pinpoint consistency in your life, then what fills you? The Lord, he is so vast. He is like an unlimited supply of your favorite snack, but his health benefits preserve you, okay? The Lord, he is massive. We see the sky and we marvel at it, but the Lord is greater and grander than that. And you know the best part about him? As great as he is, as holy and wonderful as his nature is, he still chooses to walk with us. He chose to love us. He promised our our forefathers futures and hope not just for them for generations for us he made for provisions with you in mind with your mom and dad with your siblings or your friends so consistent in his love for us his relentless chase after our hearts that he gave his he gave his heart in the form of a beautiful man named Jesus. And even after his presence is still consistent. Every morning he is there. Noonday when that first chip crumb hits the desk. He is there. At five when rush hour traffic hits or hits you. He is there. When your eyes get low and you are pulled off to the sweetest of dreams. He is there. In your space. In your presence. His word told us so. He promised to never leave nor forsake us, to uphold our right hands. The Lord, he is our constant. He is our consistent. His grace, his mercies, his love. 
all our consistencies poured out over our lives, fresh and new every morning, without judgment, without condemnation, without guilt or shame or a tab keeping score of what we did, just because he loves you. The Lord is consistent in his pursuit of you. His presence is constant and his love is comfort. And if any of this sounds untrue, it is simply because you don't know God like you think you do. So seek him and let him show you the truth. So on today, please rest and don't be stressed. Okay, please be so gentle on your metal. Okay, <laughs> you are doing so much better than you even know. Okay, keep going. You got this. You can do this. All right, I am cheering you up. Clap it up. All right, for making it through a halfway mark of thugging and rugging in these holy streets. Hallelujah. Okay, please remember to eat. Please remember to hydrate, put some jackets on. It's cold friends. Okay. And if you're in the part of the world where it's just now getting hot, get a fan. All right. And above all, please always do remember the Lord does love and bless you. May he keep you. I love you. I believe in you. And I hope whenever you view this, you have the most blessed, incredible of days or the most blessed, incredible of nights. Goodbye guys.